Okay, there is one thing here that I don't explain very well or at all on my previous videos, and that is Gemini Nano Banana Pro model is not replacing the previous version of the model which is the regular nano banana so right now when i'm recording this video the previous version the regular nano banana is still available in the official gemini app and website and that means you are not actually limited to just use the pro version you can always switch to the previous model and in some ways the previous model is actually faster it is better in some situation and if you want to iterate a lot, then I think it's better just use that model. So in this video, I guess I'm going to show you how you can easily switch from one model to another in the official Gemini platform. So here, I think I'm going to split this page into two. One is going to be using the regular Nano Banana and the other one is going to be using the Pro version. So let me just duplicate this page and I'm going to show you the side by side comparison. All right, so here I'm using the desktop version, but of course the interface will be more or less similar to the mobile app version, which I will show later. But here, let's say I'm going to create a picture of someone running on a beach wearing tuxedo and, and he's carrying a big or giant banana. So this is the prompt that I'm going to use. Of course, I'm going to have the same prompt right here. And here, uh, you have to create images enable create images and let's do the same for this and now to select the model you can switch between thinking or fast so if you want to use the regular version of nano banana not the pro model by the way use the fast version and if you want to create a picture with a better model which is not a banana prop then you have to use the thinking version so it is being powered by gemini 3 pro which may be different in the future but right now it is being powered by this model so that's basically how we can switch from one model to another now let's see how these two models actually perform i'm going to click submit here and here and you'll see that even though these two models are basically uh, similar because you know the pro version is basically just the upgrade over the nano banana it is actually way way slower as you can see now i got a picture from the regular version of nano banana in just less than 10 seconds whereas the pro version might take maybe 20 30 seconds could be even more or even I actually have seen a case where it is taking more than one minute to generate pictures. So it can take for some time because it is thinking before creating the picture. So that's the difference. And yeah, this is the picture. And honestly, it is a bit more detailed. Maybe you cannot see it on the screen, but uh, I can testify that it is actually more detailed, even though it is not exactly a proper banana. It's actually more like a toy or balloon banana, but I think it's still able to get the accurate a depiction of the prompt now uh, sure gemini nano banana is faster but there are many ways there are many scenarios where the pro version is actually way better i actually have made a video about 10 differences or 10 new upgrades that i personally found on this pro version and one of them is it is better at creating text so let me just open a new thread again and i have this document that talks about understanding the differences between correlation and causation so here i want to tell gemini to convert this document into infographic there you go that's going to be the prompt let me just use the same instruction for the pro model okay let me just enable create images and this is the fast which is the regular nano banana this is the thinking the pro version so let's send the message and just wait so one thing that makes the pro version better is it is way better at, at rendering text compared to the previous model so okay it is actually thinking first before giving me the answer uh, and then later it will generate the picture okay ah uh, that's very interesting it is actually not creating a picture for some reason let me just uh, send this the message again and yep that could happen but you will see that now gemini nano banana the regular person has finished creating the picture but if you look closely the text is not accurate it's all over the place it's gibberish it's not something 
that even exist in the dictionary. So this could happen. Okay, uh, that's very interesting. Gemini, the Nano Banana Pro version is apparently not generating a picture for some reason, but let me try it again. That's very strange. Uh, generate an infographic picture, please, based on the document. Yeah, that's actually kind of strange. It's not creating a picture. Okay, now it is loading Nano Banana Pro. Finally, it's creating a picture. So that's actually a strange behavior. That's not usually happen. And I personally never encountered that situation before. So that's, that was new to me. Okay, it is still generating a picture. And by the way, if you are using the mobile app version, you can switch between fast and thinking by clicking this button. It is actually only this button will be different if you're using the previous version of the Gemini app. So make sure to use the latest version of this platform. And then of course you have to enable create images. You have to, sorry, uh, you have to create, enable create images and you can also add documents. You can create a specific prompt and then you can choose the model for the picture. Anyway, as you can see, it has created a picture. It is more complex. It has more images, more visual elements, but overall it is actually much more readable than the than the other version, than the regular non-banana version. So it is so simple, it's almost like not a good infographic in my opinion, it's just too simple. Well, whereas this one is actually a bit more complex in a way that it is rich, it is actually giving you more information and overall even though the text is small, it is actually way better. Now, I have to admit it is not always perfect because sometimes I do notice that there are some words that are not real. It's not actually real word in found in the English dictionary. So it can still happen, but generally speaking, it is way, way better. In fact, I have made some videos about how you can generate some infographics using the Gemini Nano Banana Pro uh, via Not Real M. You can check it out on my channel. So yeah, that's basically how you can switch between the two models in the Gemini platform alongside with some little comparisons between the two models, which is Nano Banana and Nano Banana Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.